like that sleight of hand. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? We're trying to find the best player, building the perfect player. Over the next eight weeks, we've taken thoughts from the best GMs and best coaches around the NBA to construct the perfect basketball player, starting with the handles. And you see these, these three gentlemen right here. So we see these three right here on the screen. But Seiko, I'm going to start with you. Who is your favorite player as far as handles goes? I, I mean, this is a, a great category. Um, I want to give a shout out to Jamal Croft for getting in on the Veterans Committee vote. Man, shout out to the automatic to the fella. Automatic vet vote. Yes, and <laughs> and I will tell you that if you asked who's the most feared, you know, by his peers around the league, is Kyrie Irving. Something about Kyrie's artistry with the ball and his balance and the way he's got that thing on a string underneath him. He doesn't do as much of the embarrassing people and knocking them down like James Harden does, maybe, which is more highlight ready. Yeah, but. Just the consistent attack in the, in the off-balance nature of how you try and deal with Kyrie off the dribble would lend itself to him being the first guy on this list. And I would say Kyrie combines amazing finishes with the handle, which I think enhances the way it all looks. Some guys pat it 50 times and then throw it in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> so your handle's probably not that tight. Um, but James Harden also, I mean, he... He uses, I think, more dribbles in one spot, but he is, it's almost like he's hypnotizing you with the basketball. He's not moving a lot, but he's patting it in between the legs, behind the back, crossovers, getting to the basket, stopping, hitting big threes, like the one we're just looking at. So I could see how one guy in Beantown can get it, the other guy in H-Town can get it. But Jamal Crawford, man, I mean, no. to be on this list <laughs> at 37, 38 years old, still, still cooking. Player still handles. He might be the godfather of this thing, too, if you go Come back now. and look at the work he's done over the years. That is true. I mean, you look at some of the greatest handles of all time, you have to put him in there. Pistol Pete, Isaiah Thomas, White Chocolate, Allen Iverson, all in the conversation of the greatest handles of all time. But we'll keep it current. So I have to ask you, there seems to be, at least in my humble opinion, one player that is missing from this list. Mm. Two-time MVP, one-time unanimous MVP, Steph Curry, who has people come out to watch him put on a dribbling display in pregame warm-ups. Why is Chef Curry not on this list? Um, in my opinion, as you just said, I think that th the way the Warriors play basketball, he's without the basketball a lot. And they don't run a lot of traditional just mid-pick-and-roll drag screens in transition as much as some of these other guys run. Uh, and so I just think people have lost their connection to how much he has the basketball on the string. Now, just a couple years ago, it was Kyrie and Steph right. in the conversation. Right. And then James Harden has put together MVP almost back-to-back -back type seasons. So people have kind of leaning over towards James Harden on the left-hand side. <laughs> but don't forget about the chef, man. <laughs> Steph Curry can pat it. Yeah, and I think you forget about his handle because you're so busy watching that follow-through. Yes. Always... The thing with Steph is the shooting, you know, and, and he and Clay have taken that to another level. You forget how he gets open for some of those. It's not always off a screen. It's yeah. not always ball movement. Sometimes it's taking somebody and putting them in his own blender and getting that shot. You know, someone who hasn't forgot about those Steph Curry handles, Chris Paul. <laughs> Too soon or not? Nah? Chris Paul's teammate is James Harden. We're going to do a demonstration right out here on this floor coming back. He gets away with everything. The master of the step back. The master of the Euro step. Fear the beard. D. Fisher is going to show us how it's done on the court. Game time. Coming up. Harden backs up and tries it again. Yes! He does it again! Harden met by Thomas. Harden on the drive. Comes a step back three again down the hatch it goes for James Harden. Step back. Oh, a cold-blooded three for James Harden. Is that the most unstoppable shot in basketball? It's unbelievable. Harden, how do you like it now? James flexing those muscles. Oh! You see that group of players right there, very impressive. James Harden sitting at the top of the list. Oh, asterisk, Will Chamberlain is really at the top, the Big Dipper. But nevertheless, James Harden is impressive. 17 straight games of scoring 30 or more. Crazy. So, fellas, number one, how impressive is this? And, and Fish, I'm actually going to start with you because 
The person who's right behind James Harden, who we just passed, you had the pleasure of sharing the backcourt with Kobe Bryant, and you witnessed him put together some of these magnificent performances. Comparing the two players, which one, in your opinion, was more dominant during their streak? Oh, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, James, it feels more dominant, I think, in terms of what James is doing because of the 57, you know, the 40-plus that was mixed in there. I felt like Kobe's was more consistent. Like, he literally could have just scored 32, 35 every night. And maybe he, you know, he had a breakout here or there. I think also James has been needed yeah. to score this many just for the Rockets to have a chance to win. Um, but there's no way I could have imagined another player doing that at that time. <laughs> <laughs> to think that now Harden has surpassed Kobe on that list is an amazing accomplishment. Looking at Harden ceiling, go ahead, chime in just on the level of play that he's been able to maintain and, and continue to play at this level while missing CP3, yeah, Capella yeah. out, and all these other players. His usage is through the chart. Yeah, it's bonkers. I mean, and it's part of the evolution of what James Harden has been in this system, in Mike D'Antoni's system. When you have the opportunity to control the action the way that he does, and you're that gifted a passer and sport and creator, to me, that's what elevates his performance to another level. I know Kobe, I don't know that there's ever been a guy who was as demonic a scorer as Kobe, like who could just rip a team's heart out and, you know, strike the fear in everybody the way he did. But he didn't always have the assist numbers like James Harden does. Harden is doing the scoring, and he's creating for everybody else in ways that I don't know. And that's not a knock on Kobe. I just don't know that it was the same type of creation in terms of shots for everybody else. But what Harden's done to catch... T-Mac and Kobe and then pass him? Unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. But one way he does it is he's creative offensively. He's able to get to the line. And as you see by the numbers, over the past three seasons, he is by far the leader in getting to the free throw line with his free throw attempts. It is ridiculous. Russell Westbrook, his former teammate, is right there. But Harden is clearly head and shoulders above everybody else. So what we're going to do right now, we're out here on the court for a reason. The coach, Derek Fisher, is going to demonstrate – the techniques that the bearded one uses <laughs> to get to the court because, uh, hey, we got to get this knowledge and you got it all. That's a what? tough task. I don't get try. I don't and he's, always a, get hey, 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 kind of he's a lefty and, he, and we have a volunteer right now. <laughs> Sneku Smith is going to demonstrate right here. And I'm just going to sit back and watch. All right, well, let's, let's come out this way as we take a look at James Harden here going right and literally wrapping his left arm around Paul Millsap's <laughs> inside hand there. You see Millsap right arm away from his body. James Harden locks his left arm around his, right? And so when you think about this, we used to hand check before, right? right. We played defense. So to replace the hand check, and a lot of players have gone to this type of position so that that hand is not out. So, so now James is feeling what used to be an arm bar on his body. They have to come off his body now for freedom of movement with the rules. So as he's driving right, he sees that arm <laughs> yes. away from your body, and he now comes up as though he's getting ready to go into his shooting motion on his way downhill, and the referees are trained to watch the defender. That's who is going to cause more problems for the referee is the defender, not the offensive player. So they look up. <laughs> they see the defender's arms wrapped around the offensive player. That's a foul on the defender, and he's become one of the most crafty offensive players at creating fouls that I've ever seen. So he used multiple ways of doing it. That's one way that he does it. Uh, there's another way when he's penetrating downhill, whether it's right or left. So let's say he's going to his left this time. He's driving to the basket, and he shows this ball to Sekou. This is Sekou the arm? feels like, hey, I got quick hands. I can get this steal. Soon as he extends, he coming across. Boom, arms come up Second right up. into another foul situation. Yeah, this, there. He does it all the time. That's the thing about it. Fish, I'm stunned that these guys have not caught on. These defenders have not caught on. And I, I love when, you know, when the Lakers earlier this year, they were like, hands behind the back. Like, the only way to do this is hands behind the back because if you stick it out there for James Harden, even if there's no real contact, he can exaggerate it and sell fouls to the official. I know some people don't like that. Smart basketball, though, when you consider if, if Kobe or Michael got a chance to play oh in the air where freedom of movement was an emphasis. Oh, my Ooh. goodness.
So it listen, been crazy. it, it, it would have been crazy. So we've seen the demonstration, hand check, no hand check, arm bar extended. But what about the famous, the world famous step back that he's known for? We got to uh, demonstrate that. Well, it, for Harden, it's gone from step back to side step, right? So as a left-handed player, now that I've created foul situations, your hands have to stay off of my body. I step sideways to get a little bit of separation from you. Now when you contest, I stick the leg out a little bit. Kind of looks like my natural shooting motion. Kind of. <laughs> George Hill didn't even leave the floor that time. <laughs> but because James Harden wasn't able to come straight back down, foul call on George Hill. This time, Jermichael Green trying to slide with him. and knocking them around, and that's a foul on Sekou. Right. I'm going to get three free throws. That step back is amazing. He'll definitely go down the line. Did he, and did he create this? I'm, I'm trying to remember, is there another player who I used the step back? Like, I mean, now you see Luka Doncic. You see other players doing it, their own version of it. But who employed this tool like this prior to James Harden? I don't remember anybody really going to it as often yeah, as he does. Yeah, I don't know if he created it, but he definitely has pioneered what looks to be more of a sidestep. For a long time, we were taught to step back, drive the defender that way, step back this way. Which is in turn a more difficult shot to take if you're Much stepping more back. difficult. Yeah. The sidestep, which is Harden is doing, really allows you to still stay more square to the basket and then I think be able to add some multiple dribble moves behind that. So real smart evolution by Harden. The evolution also, he's allowed to maybe take a step or two extra. Stop it. We, oh, saw, we, saw, Steph, we saw Steph try it. Didn't we work. saw Steph try it. Hey, we got more coming on game time. Don't go anywhere. Defense, Sekou <laughs> Smith. Oh, my God. Shoot the shot. Shoot the shot. Oh, Buckets. Oh. oh.